Thank you for saving me. I don't just mean today. I should have thanked you back in the throne room, but I was just... I just felt so guilty. I made the choice that day. And I hated you for it. Feeling that those people died because of me. It was awful beyond words. But there was something worse. Deep inside, I felt happy. I felt happy, even as they were dragged away, that I was still alive. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have nothing there to be is. sorry for. Anybody would feel what you did. It was an appalling situation. And the only one to blame for it is Logan. Well, now that I've said that, thank you. You're welcome. Should be almost back to Laszlo. Oh, bloody hell, Laszlo. What am I going to say to him? Wait, I have to tell you something. Laszlo is the most... well, he's the second most amazing man I've ever met. He started that shelter from nothing, and he keeps it going despite Ferret and Reva. Working with him felt... right after all those years in the castle, doing nothing. Then somehow it became about more than work. I felt something I hadn't since you. And now you're back. Oh, this is maddening! Here I am, pouring my heart out, and you haven't said anything. Do you want to give me a consoling hug and say, do the honorable thing? Or grab me and kiss me and tell me to come back? You said you tried to forget me. And I understand why. But I'm back now. Ah! <sighs> And I'm so glad you are. Listen, I need time to break it to Laszlo. Please, say nothing now, then find me at the shelter in a few days and we'll be together. I love you. I can't believe you came down here and found me. You, of all people. Billy, oh, oh, my head. That weasel, Nigel Ferret, must have struck me when my back was turned. Oh, darling. Thank goodness you're all right. You've saved the love of my life. I'm forever in your debt. Thank you for everything. If I may say so, sir, you have succeeded most admirably in gaining I'm a so large measure of popular I'm here support now. among the locals. I love you. I love you too. I believe this would be a good time to return to that rather dreary hole that your new rebel acquaintances like to call home.
Ah, the rebel prince. I'm on my way to the castle to report to your brother, and to try to find out what I can about his troop movements while I'm there. Ben's in the back room, arguing with Paige. Not an entirely unexpected situation. Ben seems to have a way with a fairer sex. A strange, troubled way. Tallyo! I'm telling you, I down three hollow men with one shot. It's true. I've never trusted a soldier in my life. I'm not going to start now. W will you tell her, Walter? Hey, I'm not getting involved. Look, look, here he is. Ask him yourself. Oh, give it a rest. Fine. I'll just stand here quietly then, shall I? You know, for a prince, you're a pretty decent person. People out there are starting to believe in you. I knew you two would get along in the end. Thank you for taking an interest in my social life, but we have even bigger problems now. Reva. He's been bleeding the city dry for years now, but it's never been this bad. We decided it was time to hit back. A small group of fighters managed to get into his mansion, but they never made it out. I believe they're alive. You're going to help me find them. Reva hosts some sort of fancy secret society party every week. We don't know what goes on, but we do know what the guests look like. It's the perfect chance to sneak in. Here. You'll have to wear this. Great. Where's my costume? What, I still can't come. What, even after the three hollow men story? Honestly, this is as bad as the army. Now everyone out. I have a party to dress for. I'll stay and make sure no one spies on you. Everyone out. You know, I'm starting to have serious doubts about our relationship. <sighs> I knew I should have gone up to the castle with Swifty. I just love how soldiers can come in and out of our secret hideout now. Whatever you do, please don't let Mr. Finn follow you. I've had enough of him for one day. I'll see you at Reaver's Manor. That suit should allow you to blend in anywhere. So long as anywhere is a fancy masquerade ball attended by high-ranking members of society. Wear it in any other environment, you'd probably be slightly conspicuous. I say, who is this person standing before me? I can scarcely guess. 